1.13 billion, our Sun, and its solar system, will have orbited five times around the Milky Way. 1.2 billion, our Sun, and its solar system, will have orbited six times around the Milky Way. 1.3 billion, eukaryotic life dies out on Earth due to carbon dioxide starvation, and humanity will become a type 4 civilization. 1.5 billion, the sun's increasing luminosity will cause its circumstellar habitable zone to move outwards. 2.3 billion, the Earth's outer core will freeze, shutting down its magnetic poles. 2.8 billion, Earth's surface temperature, even at the poles, will reach an average of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. 3 billion, the Moon's increasing distance from the Earth will lessen its stabilizing effect on the Earth's axial tilt. 3.3 billion, Mercury will have a 1% chance of colliding with Venus, sending the inner solar system into chaos. Possible scenarios include Mercury colliding with the Sun, being ejected from the solar system, or colliding with Earth. 3.5 billion, Earth's surface will heat up with the temperature of 2060 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt some surface rock, causing magma oceans to form. 3.6 billion, Neptune's moon Triton will fall through the planet's Roche limit. 4 billion, the Andromeda galaxy will collide with the Milky Way. 4.468 billion, uranium-238 will decay. 5.4 billion with the hydrogen supply exhausted at its core, the sun will leave the main sequence and begins to evolve into a red giant. 6.1 billion, Milkimida will have formed. 7.1 billion, Mercury will fall into the red giant sun. 7.3 billion, Venus will fall into the red giant Sun. 7.5 billion, Earth and Mars will become tidally locked with the expanding subjunct Sun. 7.57 billion, the Earth will reach almost 2200 degrees centigrade, causing magma to evaporate. 7.59 billion, the Earth will fall into the red giant Sun and the moon will spiral below Earth's Roche limit. 7.9 billion, the sun will increase to 256 times bigger than the present day value. Mercury, Venus, and possibly Earth will have destroyed, and Saturn's moon Titan will achieve surface temperatures necessary to support life. When I'm thinking about billions of years from now, I thought of the end of life on Earth, and it'll get very hot. That's very scary to all. And that's not good at all. Moving on. 8 billion, the sun will become a carbon-oxygen white dwarf with about 54.05% its present mass. 10 billion, Milkimida will absorb the magnetic clouds. 14.056 billion, thorium-232 will decay. 22 billion, a model of dark energy will reach W equals minus 1.5, but Chandra X-ray Observatory suggests that the true value of W is minus 0.991, meaning the big rip will not occur. 38.5 billion, lutetium-176 will decay. 41.2 billion, uranium-187 will decay. 49.23 billion, rubidium-87 will decay. 50 billion, if the Earth and Moon are not engulfed by the Sun, by this time they will become tide-locked, with each showing only one face to the other. 60 billion, the solid crust will form on the Sun. 100 billion, the universe's expansion will cause all galaxies beyond the former Milky Way's local group to disappear beyond the cosmic light horizon removing them from the observable universe. 150 billion, the cosmic microwave background will cool down from 2.7 Kelvin to 0.3 Kelvin. 450 billion, the 47 galaxies of the local group will coalesce into a single large galaxy. 800 billion, Milkimida galaxy will decline as the red dwarf stars pass through their blue dwarf stage of peak luminosity. 1 trillion, 
star formation will decline. 1.8 trillion, humanity will become a type 5 civilization. 2 trillion, galaxies that are beyond the local supercluster will disappear. 4 trillion, the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri will leave the main sequence and becomes a white dwarf. 12 trillion, the red dwarf VB10 will run out of hydrogen in its core and becomes a white dwarf. 30 trillion, stars, including the sun, will undergo a close encounter with another star in local stellar neighborhoods. 100 trillion, star formation will end in galaxies, ending the stellar era of the universe. 102 trillion, lanthanum 138 will decay. 106 trillion, samarium 147 will decay. 108 trillion, gadolinium 152 will decay. 110 trillion, all stars will exhaust their fuel. 120 trillion, all stars will die. 441 trillion, indium 115 will decay. 650 trillion, platinum 190 will decay. 1 quadrillion, the sun will cool down to 5 degrees above absolute zero, causing the sun to become a black dwarf. 1.8 quadrillion, tungsten 180 will decay. 2 quadrillion, hafnium 172 and osmium 186 will decay. 2.29 quadrillion, niobium 144 will decay. 7 quadrillion, samarium 148 will decay. 7.7 .7 quadrillion, cadmium 113 will decay. 130 quadrillion, the planetary era of the universe will end. 150 quadrillion, vanadium 50 will decay. 2.82 quintillion, cadmium 116 will decay. 5 quintillion, neuropium 151 will decay. 6.7 quintillion, neodymium 150 will decay. 8.5 quintillion, molybdenum 100 will decay. 10 quintillion, 90% of brown dwarfs and stellar remnants, including the sun, will be ejected from galaxies. 19 quintillion, bismuth 209 will decay. 20 quintillion, zirconium 96 will decay. 31 quintillion, cadmium 116 will decay. 46 quintillion, calcium 41 will decay. 97 quintillion, selenium 82 will decay. 100 quintillion, if the earth did not engulf by the red giant sun, then the earth will collide with the black dwarf sun. 790 quintillion, tellurium 130 will decay. 1.6 sextillion, barium 130 will decay. 1.8 sextillion, germanium 76 will decay. 2.38 sextillion, xenon 106 will decay. 9.2 sextillion, krypton 78 will decay. 2.2 septillion, tellurium 128 will decay. 1 octillion, galaxies will dissolve. 1 nonillion, stars that have not ejected from galaxies will fall into their galaxy's central supermassive black holes. 10 decillion, all carbon-based life forms will die due to lack of atoms. 2 undecillion, all nucleons in the observable universe will decay if the hypothesized proton half-life takes its smallest possible value. 10 duodecillion, the degenerate era of the universe will begin. 3 tree decillion, all nucleons in the observable universe will decay if the hypothesized proton half-life takes the largest possible value, causing the black hole era to start. 1 quarter decillion, a lunar mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 4.5 quarter decillion, a 50th of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 8.8 .8 quarter decillion, a 40th of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 20 quarter decillion, 
a thirtieth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 70 quater decillion, a twentieth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 82 quater decillion, a nineteenth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 97 quater decillion, a eighteenth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 115 quater decillion, a seventeenth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 138 quater decillion, a sixteenth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 167 quater decillion, a fifteenth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 206 quater decillion, a fourteenth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 258 quater decillion, a thirteenth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 328 quater decillion, a twelfth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 425 quater decillion, the eleventh of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 566 quater decillion, a tenth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 777 quater decillion, a ninth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 1 quindecillion, an eighth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 1.65 quindecillion, a seventh of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 2 quindecillion, a sixth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 4 quater decillion, a fifth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 8 quindecillion, a fourth of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 20 quindecillion, a third of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 70 quindecillion, a half of Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 566 quindecillion, one Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 566 sextecillion, 10 Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 566 septendecillion, 100 Earth mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 18 octodecillion, Jupiter mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 18 novemdecillion, 10 Jupiter mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 18 Vigentillion, 100 Jupiter mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. 18 Unvigentillion, 1000 Jupiter mass black hole will decay by the Hawking radiation. Since the large number is getting extremely too large because of too many zeros on front of the one, the text should use the full name of a number.